If you're interested in esports or just gaming, in general, it's impossible you missed E3 this past week. But among all the hot new titles gamers are eagerly awaiting their chance to get their hands on, there were some more competitive events taking place. Epic Games threw its first big Fortnite tournament, a $3 million charity program, while Nintendo unveiled the next chapter in the popular Super Smash Bros. series. But it wasn't all E3. Just mostly. This past week the gaming world descended on LA for the annual E3 show, but in a stadium, a short distance away Epic Games was holding the first big Fortnite competition. The 2018 Pro-Am combined pro players, streamers and celebrities to compete for their share of $3 million to donate to charity. The result wasn't entirely surprising, Ninja and his partner Marshmello, walked away with the golden pickaxe and the biggest share of the charity donations. But, it was the first glimpse at what Fortnite esports can really look like. Inside a big stadium, AAA production, huge prize money and a good look at the observer mode and custom game setup that will be at the core of pro competition. Epic Games also took the time to outline the first competitive season for 2018-2019. The Fortnite World Cup will take place in late 2019, but before that there will be community, online and major offline tournaments organized around the world. World Cup play will focus on solo and duo competition, but Epic says there will also be ample play for squads, too. And the best part is that anyone can take part. Where we dropping? No Fuchs given Premier League winner, Leicester City's Christian Fuchs, has unveiled a brand new esports project that will be tying into his existing lifestyle brand. As reported by the Esports Observer, Fuchs has already signed four FIFA players that will compete under the same team name as the current brand, No Fuchs given. No Fuchs given has already signed four professional FIFA 18 database players, including Singaporean FIFA pro Chang, Abidi, Wen Jun. Fun fact, it will be the first time a FIFA player can actually choose to play as their boss in-game. No Fuchs given will be likely casting its eye over other prominent esports titles, too, with interest in Overwatch and Fortnite already mentioned. Super Smash Bros. is back it won't launch until December 2018, but popular competitive Nintendo title, Super Smash Bros. is back. Ultimate is the latest incarnation announced for the Nintendo Switch, and it's sure to be a hit. Smash Bros Esports has a passionate following, and what better way for Nintendo to debut the newest installment than with an invitational tournament at E3. You can check that out above, and if you're a Switch owner you can get your pre-order on right now. And as a bonus for serious Smash Bros players, Nintendo also announced a new version of its GameCube controller and the adapter necessary for the Switch. Because for Smash Bros it doesn't get any better than the GameCube controller. Super Smash Bros. For Nintendo Switch, everything we know so far. A most noble Forza RC arrival we're always happy to see new names join the Forza RC scene, especially when it's a well-respected and well-established organization such as Noble. Noble already competes with teams in a number of esports such as the H1Z1 Pro League, PUBG and Rainbow Six Siege, and now is joining the Forza circuit with German racer, Robin, B0X Betka. B0X is currently ranked 6th on the overall leaderboard as the Forza RC heads to the Series 1 playoffs this weekend. The ultimate prize is the World Championships in London this October, with a stop in Mexico City for the Series 2 playoff finals in between. Upcoming live events CWL Anaheim, June 15th to June 17th, watch on Twitch ESL1 Belo Horizonte, June 15th to June 17th, watch on Facebook PGI PUBG Invitation EU Qualifier, June 29th to July 1st, watch on Twitch Forza RC Series 1 Finals, June 16th and June 17th, watch on Mixer.